The decibel scale is used to measure how loud a sound is, and is a logarithmic ratio used to simplify otherwise large measurements. The scale is organized through a numeric value system, assigning numbers to sounds based on their intensity. The louder or noise is, the higher it is on the scale. For every three decibels over the 85 decibel mark, the amount of time it takes to suffer from hearing damage is cut in half, starting at eight hours. The you can listen to an 85 decibel noise for roughly eight hours, but an 88 decibel noise for only four hours before sustaining hearing damage. Interestingly enough, a baby's cry can measure up to 122 decibels, meaning you could listen to it for roughly seven seconds before potentially suffering from hearing damage. That's louder than a rock concert. The scale is used to make working with very large measurements very easy. Numbers in the millions can be reduced into single or two digit numbers. To find out how many decibels are being produced, just take 10 times the log base 10 of the intensity, watts per meter squared, divided by another intensity, usually just one. Let's take a look at the equation used to find decibels. So say, hypothetically, your friends drag you to a rock concert, and the little math geek brain inside of your mohawk head wants to figure out how many decibels and amps are producing. You have your watts per meter squared finding app on your phone, and the device shows you that the amps are producing 10 to the power 11 watts per meter squared of sound energy. So you punch this into your calculator in your phone. What do you come up with? That's right, 110 decibels, meaning in about two minutes, the hearing damage will begin. You should have brought some earplugs. In the real world, this can be used to calculate the difference in sound intensity when comparing two different speakers. And that is decibels simplified. This was a pretty good video. Yeah. Cool. Really, the, the part was interesting too was that above 85, what was it? Uh, eight, 85, it takes eight hours to damage your ear, 88, four hours. So that's actually pretty dramatic, huh? Yeah. Every three Every decibels, decibels is, the time is cut, in half. cut in half. Interesting. See, 100 decibels. That's weird, they even went here to negative decibels. Things that are so, so silent that you just like, you know, so that, that means the decibel scale could have a negative, you know. It's similar to the Richter scale because Richter scale is also a logarithmic way of quantifying the power of a, an earthquake. But I think with the Richter scale, you can't have a, can you have a negative on the Richter scale? Negative one earthquake? Uh, I don't know, but this one definitely seems like you can have a negative, you see. Negative one, negative three, negative six. What is it about the three that uh, is so important because they keep going up by threes? Uh, in other words, two, two, uh, intensities that are different by three decibels, is there something unique about them? Remember in the video it said 85, 88? In other words, if something is 88 and 85 decibels, and that's equal to 10 log of I1 over I0, and then 85 is 10 log of I2 over I0. So why is it that 85 takes eight hours for you to hear to get, have hearing damage, and 88 is four hours. So there's something particularly, maybe something special about the every three decibels that something is happening. So what could we do here? We can show for I1 and I2, and compare I1 to I2, right? So we can say, divide, uh, let's see here, divide this by this. Uh, oh no, you know what? Let's subtract them. Subtract this minus this. You get th three, and then ten log of I one over I zero. Remember, I zero is the threshold of uh, hearing, so they both use the threshold of hearing here. Minus ten log of I two over I zero, right? And then how do you subtract logs? By uh, by multiplying by the reciprocal of this, right? 
because uh, minus log is the same as plus log to the negative one power, right? So then you have here reciprocate it and then multiply it. And I zero, I zero cancels. So then you have three is equal to 10 log of I one over I two. So then uh, what's that? So divide by uh, 10. So you get what? Point three is equal to log of I one over I two. Then raise this to the power 10, right? Ten to the power point three. What is that? Oh, it's about two. So that means the intensity of a sound wave that's three decibels higher is twice the intensity of the other one. Not the loudness. Remember, loudness it takes ten decibels for you to interpret it as <coughs> twice as loud. But the intensity of an 88 sound wave is twice the intensity of an 85. Oh, okay, therefore it takes half the amount of time to ha have uh, hearing loss, right? So then a uh, I of the 91 is twice the I of the 88. And then that takes twice as less time to have hearing loss. Oh, interesting. So that's, there's that two rule. So the two rule comes from a simple logarithmic thing, right? <coughs> the three dividing it by ten, then ten to the point three comes out to be two. optics, so on. See the, usually the DBD. This one is the kind of the one that I was looking for to see decibels is normal conversation, right? And 80 decibels ringing telephone. What kind of telephone is that? Okay. 90 decibels hair dryer, power lawnmower, 93. So 93 is twice the intensity as 90, right? Uh, belt sander. What is that? Oh, the thing, the round thing. That, yeah, okay. Uh, 96 tractor. 98 hand drill, 103 impact wrench, 105 bulldozer, 108 continuous miner, 108 chainsaw, 114 hammer drill, 119 pneumatic percussion drill, ambulance siren, 100 and, but I think 122 is the child crying, right? So they should have here 122, <laughs> right? And then uh, 140 decibels jet engine at takeoff. So now you're getting really, that's even more than the threshold of pain, right? 165 12 gauge shotgun. That's why you have to wear the mufflers, right? The ear mufflers. Uh, 180 rocket launch. 194 loudest possible tone. Oh, has an upper, upper limit. Under the loudest possible tone. And then your ears will basically rip apart? Or yeah, your ears just blow up. <laughs> 194 decibels, that's crazy. Okay. 
So if we had a certain intensity, we could just change it to the, uh, to the decibel scale, and then we can kind of compare it to this to see, oh, where, where are we at in the range of possible sounds, okay? Besides that, besides the intensity uh, of the sound wave dropping as one over the distance squared, uh, there's also another possible thing that uh, why the intensity drops. And that's because the air absorbs part of the intensity. There's an absorption factor in real life. So if, the, if there's no absorption, we say this is 4 pi r squared. This is without absorption. Right? So if there's no absorption of the sound intensity due to the air absorbing it, then you just have p over 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared is simply because the intensity is increasing its, uh, the area over which it's spreading. This is also true for light waves. The light waves that are coming from the sun, the brightness of the sun, is decreasing as 1 over the distance squared. So by the time it comes to us, we're not seeing the full brightness of the sun. We're seeing only the power of the sun divided by 4 pi, the distance from the sun squared, right? But for light waves, is there absorption in the vacuum of space? No. The only reason the intensity is dropping is because of spreading over the area. No absorption. But for sound waves, we can say P e to minus alpha r over 4 pi r squared if we include the absorption. So it exponentially decreases as, as the distance goes away due to absorption. Due to absorption of sound in air. So this, would, this is the one that would not hold true for light waves because vacuum doesn't absorb the light waves. Maybe if there's dark matter, dark matter might absorb it. Okay, so now, so let's just take a uh, simple example. Let's take a speaker that is rated 60 watts. And let's assume that you have it on full blast at, and it's blasting at 160 uh, watts. So what would the intensity be? Uh, what is I? Uh, five meters away, and the decibel equivalent, decibel uh, scale. So ca calculate uh, this at a distance of five meters, what the intensity is, right? And then it's decibel equivalent, without absorption. So B, now do the same thing. What is I, five meters away, decibel scale and decibel scale. With absorption. And then of course it depends on the alpha factor. The more denser the air or the more it absorbs it, uh, right, then you could have absorption due to the um, the air condition, the condition of the air, maybe the moisture of the air. And also, if you've noticed, rooms that have couches in it that are furnished, the couch is going to absorb, the furniture is going to absorb the sound wave. Whereas when you enter the room and you brand new house, it's unfurnished, your sound, I believe, uh, sounds louder. So the furniture and the couch and everything is absorbing. So the alpha is dependent on all that stuff. The air quality, the moisture, and anything else that's in the room that might absorb, right? So let's just say alpha is uh, 1.6, just as an example, okay? So now, uh, without absorption, Let's say it's full blast, so 60 over 4 pi times 5 squared, okay? So then that's going to give us the regular one.
This is watts per meter squared. Then we're going to convert that to decibel scale. 10 log of 0.190985 over 10 to the minus 12. So divide this by 10 to the minus 12, which is equivalent to multiplying it by 10 to the 12th, right? So you can just take this to 10 to the 12th, because that's the threshold of hearing. So multiply this number by 10 to the 12th. Then take the log of it. On the TI-89 to take log, you gotta go to catalog. It doesn't have the button for it. So you gotta go to catalog and find it in the log then once you use it, it'll, it'll go to, it's going to be the first one that appears. Log uh, of that number times 10. Right? So 112 decibels, that, that is pretty loud. 112 decibels, that's like the hammer drill chainsaw. So already a 60 watt light bulb that is a 60 watt uh, speaker that is on full blast five meters away, that sounds pretty, pretty loud, okay? But now if we include the absorption factor, let's see how that's gonna affect. So uh, I is gonna equal 60, times e to the minus, right? And then you're gonna have your, uh, whatever the alpha is, 1.6 times r over four pi uh, times five squared. So I guess we can take the number that we got here, the 0.19, right? That's this portion, 60 over this squared, right? Then we can multiply that by, uh, that was 0.190985 uh, Then we can multiply it by e to the minus, uh, that's what, uh, eight? Well, it's gonna be really small, huh? e to the minus, uh, Well, it makes it a lot, lot smaller. So 6.40686 times 10 to the minus five. Right, now we change that to the decimal scale. 10 log of uh, 6.40686 times 10 to the minus five, times 10 to the 12th. Right, so remember, Dividing by 10 to the minus 12 is same as multiplying by 10 to the 12. So I multiply this by 10 to the power 12. Take the log of it. It seems like this is more realistic because the 60 watts, yeah, it's loud, but it's not that loud. And full blast, 78 decibels. So that's more like a ringing telephone. So depending on uh, what you're hearing, you can actually do an experiment. You know, you could take a speaker and then you can download the app on your iPhone. There's an app that actually measures decibels. There's different apps, one's for us uh, with money, and one is free, which one was that? There's a, yeah, decibel meter, right? So you can just pull this out. See, I'm talking and it's changing the decibels. Hello, hello, see it went up to 87. So then you can do an experiment, like have a, speaker and no one else talk, you know, and hold it out and see what it gives you. Uh, then work your way backwards by figuring out the decibels, work your way outward, uh, backwards to find the alpha of the 
uh, that, that ear. You see? It's a nice little experiment. <clears throat> so it's probably somewhere between 112 is probably too loud. 78 seems like it's a little bit too soft. So the realistic alpha is probably somewhere in between again. You see? Uh, okay, so let's do another one.